On launching CSBOT, you will be shown this screen. We recommend that everybody clicks on Primary to get started. On launching the application, you will then see this screen. So we've got our competition field here with the two robots, red and blue. So in one match, one team programs the blue, one team programs the red. And we also have this window here that we can use to look at the different sensor readings of the robot and also the competition tab to load and program our robot. So to start with, let's have a look at the field. The aim of the competition is to program your robot to move around the field collecting these black, red and green objects, which all score you points. However, when doing this, you must avoid these blue areas here, which are traps. So if you go over them, your robot will lose all the points of the objects it's, it's carrying. And each robot can only carry six objects at one time. So once it is full, the robot must then go to the orange deposition area where the robot can deposit the objects and afterwards go and collect more objects. And it must do this while avoiding the robot, any obstacles, and do this against the clock. So now let's have a look at the second window here. So each robot has a variety of sensors which you can use to help program it and navigate around the field. We have ultrasound sensors on the front, left and right of the robot and these measure the distance a wall or obstacle is away from the robot. The values of these sensors are stored in these variables here. So we have US front, US left, US right, representing the front and left and right ultrasound variable readings. So as we move these around, we can see how these are reflecting how far an object is away from the sensors. We also have color sensors in the robot, one on the left, one on the right. Each color sensor has three values for the red, green and blue content of the color that is seeing. So, for example, if we were going to move to a red block, we would have a much higher red content of the colour sensor value reading, and vice versa for different colours. So now we've looked at the robots that we can and the sensors available, we can now move on to programming the robot and moving on to task one, which is moving forwards.